Chris, napkin and marker. Got a bunch of change here. I didn't just gather this change from a bunch of people in a bar, but I could have. Here we go. Chris, write down this date. 2011. Write down this date, Chris. 1996. Write down this date. 2003, no, 2002. Three coins. Check all three dates. And keep in mind, I mix those up, no peeking. All these coins can be borrowed and somebody else can put them all in the glass. Do all three dates on those coins perfectly match the three I said? Yes. No, I'm not trying to rip you guys off. There are a few of you who are thinking, wait a second, last year, didn't Jay post something on his channel a lot like this? Yes. I did. I did post something a lot like this on the channel. However, this is one of these videos and I've said it before, I'll probably say it again. I do keep a very close eye in the comments. Uh, I figure that's the least my fans deserve. I reply to a lot of them. I love staying in touch with you guys and it looks, seems like a bunch of you like to stay in touch with me. Having said all that, I did notice an unusual number of comments that were sort of saying, I don't quite get it. Is it that simple? What's the palm? This and that. And this trick I have been doing forever. This is this is the kind of trick you can flow into and feel like, boom, this is going. It's like you are truly a magician, truly a psychic with this kind of thing. So I wanted to make sure, wanted to sort of produce it again, hit all the details, make sure you guys really added this to your repertoires all around the galaxy. Okay? Um, so fair. These are all ordinary coins. You can be in a bar and have a glass or a cup or, you know, uh, or, or I guess hollow out uh, the head of some creature and have all the coins in there. It's so organic and magical. What you're doing is called being one ahead and it's very elegant. You're gonna see I'm one ahead and at the end I catch it by being one behind, okay? You need to start with a penny or a quarter or a nickel or any coin, any coin in your left finger palm. And you need to know the date of that coin, okay? So in this case, I got a penny here. It is a 2015, nice and shiny pen, 2015. So I reach in there and I pull the coin and I make sure nobody can see what the coin is, okay? I pull it up, my fingers are like this, I make sure no one can see and I say write all these dates down and the first I say go ahead and write this down, 2015. And the effect is I'm trying to get a sense of what the coin is as if my fingertips could feel it or I have a psychic connection. 2015, write it down and they write it down. Now I, as an actor, I'm gonna see if I was successful. I look at what, and again, you have no idea if I'm holding a quarter or a nickel or whatever, and I look, and if I have to turn it over, I do, and I see, and I look at this, and then I smile. And I'm just noting the date on this coin. I take this, my hand turns over, and this is in finger palm. But I'm curling my fingers so there's no way they can see it as I put the coin in the hand and nobody sees it. And I make sure the two coins don't talk. They don't come together. I just do this, then carefully close it up, and make sure they don't come together. So I notice the second date. Show my hand undeniably empty. Reach inside, grab another coin, hold my fist, and I go, 2014, write it down. So that was the one on this. Then I have a perfect theatrical excuse to look at this one. And if I have to turn over, I do. And then I smile as if I got it right. And you guys don't want to know what the coin this is. It happens to be a quarter though. And it has 2000, the date on this. So I smile and I add this to the group and now I can have them clink because they know now that there's supposed to be two coins in the hand. But at 2000, the last time I go in, I take out a coin, lie, I take out nothing. The last one I don't take out a coin. I take out, I already have the three here. So the last one I just do this, I go 2000, write it down. They write down the third and final date. I pretend to add this to the three. I mean, that's pretty convincing. <laughs> Got the three coins. I hand those, someone takes the time to check the three dates, 
and they find out that impossibly borrowed handful of change, all mixed up, your hand was empty every time going in, you got all three dates correct. It is an absolutely inexplicable demonstration of some sort of supernatural ability.